Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to sketch vectors. Now, remember, the definition of a vector is a directed line segment. And a directed line segment is going to have an initial point, it's going to have a terminal point, and it's going to have a direction. Now, we're not going to worry about the direction. We're just going to worry about sketching the vectors. So what I have is two t ways that we write vectors. I have the component form as well as a vector written in linear combination. Now, when we're writing vectors in component form, what's nice about component form is that the initial point is always going to be at 0, 0. So for instance, you know, this vector for um, 4, 2 has an initial point at um, 0, 0. Now, the terminal point is going to be at the point 4, 2. So a lot of times, you know, people think of this, you know, when you're sketching vectors, you can think of this as just like a coordinate point, right? Where you have your x and you have your y coordinate. Well, here's the x-axis and here's the y-axis. So we go over 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. And there, therefore, that's your terminal point. So we have our initial and we have our terminal point. However, remember a vector though is not a point. You can see we have those um, pointed, right? Pointed brackets. This is not regular parentheses. So it's a directed line segment. So the way that we write the vector is we're going to go from the initial to the terminal point, and we're going to put a little arrow, basically um, denoting that the that the vector starts here and goes to this point. So that is going to be our vector um, for four two. Now. Over here, you can look at this and say, well, this one's negative 2, 0. That means I'm going to the left, but why? I'm not going up or down at all. So again, I start at 0, 0. And then I'm just going to go to the left 2. There's my terminal point. And going out to the left. Over here, I have 3, comma, negative 5. Again, just start at 0, 0, because it's in component form. And then I'm just going to go to the right 3, 1, 2, 3. And then now, since, y, um, since the y coordinate is negative, I'm going to go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's my coordinate point, 3, comma 5. However, again, we're doing a directed line segment. So there you go. That's how you sketch um, each one of these vectors. Now, again, I didn't write the name of these vectors. We could call this you know, v, w, z. And then we just write you know, kind of the vector name right next to the vector. Now these I called these I all called V, um, which is perfectly fine. It's you know obviously when we're doing different problems, we usually want to uh, differentiate between our vectors, so we'll give them different let, uh, names. But these are all written in a linear combination. Now, you might not have gotten to unit vectors, and really to get to understand the linear combination, you really need to understand unit vectors. But and assuming that maybe you have gotten into unit vectors, the linear combination is very basic. And a lot of times, any time that I even see a vector as a linear combination, I want you to understand you can always rewrite it as, a, as component form, just like that. Okay? So don't get confused with linear combination. And the main important thing, if, even if you want to just look at all these problems, if you don't understand, if you haven't got to unit vectors yet, just rewrite every single one in, in component form. Just rewrite them as. Uh, uh, or as linear combination, just rewrite them as component form. But I'll give you a quick little uh, introduction to our, our unit vectors. So basically, we have our unit vectors i and j. So we have x, and we have um, our y-axis. Well, basically, i and j represent is what we call the unit vectors, where i is the unit vector along the x-axis, and j is the unit vector along the y-axis. And what's important about i and j is they have a magnitude of 1, or a length of 1. So we call them the unit vectors, because their, their length is only 1, 1 unit. So if I have three i's, well, that means I'm going over to the right 1, 2, 3. And if I have two j's, then I'm going up 2. right? Well, these are going to meet if I go over 3 and then up 2. It's just like kind of you know plotting this point on an x and y axis over 3, up 2. You're, it's basically the same way. It's a, just a different way to represent. Um, but there you go. That is your uh, vector, 3i plus 2j. Now we get onto this one. Now, what a lot of times this one gets confusing is people say, oh, well, I don't have an i. You know, like, what do I do with i? Well, just like kind of what we did in our component form, j kind of represents our y coordinate. So if we wanted to think about this in component form, it would be 0, comma, 4. So therefore, j, our i, I don't have any i, um, any, uh, i distance. So I'm not going left to right. All I'm doing is it's just 4j. So here is j, and I'm doing 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And remember, again, just like our component form, our linear combination 
is going to uh, have an initial point at 0, 0. All right, and lastly, I have negative 2i minus j. This one sometimes gets students because they don't see a, you know, a value in front of the j, so they kind of forget what that is. But just remember, if we don't have a number that's explicitly written right in front, then we know that um, that number can always equal to 1. So therefore, we'll go ahead and write this out in component form as negative 2, negative 1. So therefore, um, from 0, 0, I can go left 2, down 1. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write a vector in, ve in component form as well as a linear combination. Thanks. Or you sketch a vector. Not just write a vector, but sketch a vector.